Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to those of you who are new and welcome to those of you who are returning. And I also want to say, although I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Excuse me. Welcome to those of you who love summer because it's officially summertime. Yeah. Not too excited about that, but excited to be alive and actually get some great sunlight. And there have been some days here where it's not as hot. So that's, I'm very grateful for that, but it, we're just starting summer. So yeah, I am here today because I told you all that I would be giving you an update, um, like a quick update about like what's been going on with me as far as like, this is like a health update. So as you can tell by the title, I've had two surgeries in within the last six months. So yeah. Um, and it takes a toll on you. It really takes a toll on your body, your mental, your physical, all of that. So briefly, I'm going to go into like a little bit of background about why I had to have the two surgeries. So the first surgery I had to have was on my left knee. And I will also include like some pictures and some clips. It's not too graphic, but for those of you who maybe don't like to see like some yucky stuff, then you might want to skip past that part. And... You know, those of you who really don't care, you're free to watch it if you want to. I didn't get everything for both of my surgeries because um, I was a little bit anxious. And also, too, you know, you can't really take the camera in, like, the um, the, the room. Um, I could have, like, filmed a little bit of, like, the morning of me going in, but I just didn't do that. So, I basically just have pictures, and that's it. surgery on my left knee and um because I had ruptured my ACL and I had two well I had the x-ray showed me having one meniscal tear but the doctor said that actually when he went in I had two meniscal tears so I had to get an ACL repair or I ruptured my ACL so I guess he had to do we had to do to fix that and then he also had to repair, um, I had two meniscal tears, so he had to repair those as well. Now, I had to go undergo physical therapy for a very long time after that. Actually, this surgery was November the 5th, I believe, um, of, of this year, of 2022. And, um, you know, I had some complications with it. Um, like, actually, one thing that happened with this one was um, the side of my leg um, cause I had to have three, one, two, three, four incisions. So one of my incisions on the right, on the, um, my left knee on the left side actually burst open. Yeah. Um, so it hurt pretty bad. So they had to go in and kind of fix that up. And then, um, now for some strange reason, sorry if you hear that noise, it's going to be the AC unit. Um, but for some strange reason, he said that my meniscal tears are not healing properly. My ACL is doing fine, but my meniscal tears are not. So he may have to go back in and do something extra to them, but he's going to do it at a later date because um, I have other issues going on that they want to tackle first. And also, um, he just wants me to wear my brace to kind of help it um, when I'm doing like a lot of activity. So that's the first surgery. Um... He said it will take about maybe, I think he said 18 months for it to like really heal the way it's supposed to. But if it, since he has to probably go back in again, I don't know how long it will take the total time after he goes back in. My second surgery I had, I'm also going to input um, pictures. of 
my right um, hand. So basically, I have been having this weird thing going on with my left hand and my right hand. So on this particular day, which was, I think it was May the 11th or May the 12th of this year, 2022, um, my doctor had to go in because I, for some strange reason, I think I told you guys, or maybe I didn't, that I have a lot of numbness and tingling, um, a lot of pain, swelling, and loss of feeling, and a lot of weakness in my both my hands. Um, it started with the left side. When I started chemotherapy in 2016, about a couple of weeks later, or maybe like a month later, this left side of my body completely shut down. Um, I couldn't raise my hand. It was in excruciating pain. It was swollen. So they put me in the hospital for two weeks. And they said it was just something with my nerves. It resembled that of a stroke, but it wasn't a stroke. They just said it was something with one of my nerves. Um, I think I told you guys in the previous video that my doctors kind of don't know what's causing it. Um, they're running a lot of tests. One of my doctors say that they believe it's a side effect from the chemotherapy. Another doctor is saying they believe it's every time I have a migraine headache, that's what happens. Another doctor is saying it's my nerves, like... Every now and then, maybe my nerves get tense or something is pressing on the nerve and it causes that side to shut down. So they really don't know. So they're running more tests. And so um, the on this day of the surgery, he did injections um, in my left hand. And he did it while I was already under, he said, because it's very, 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 very painful. And so it's best to do it when you're asleep. And if you're not asleep, People, they do do when people are awake too, but they like it really hurts. So he did injections in my left hand, and he did surgery on my um, right hand. And basically, um, he called it like a tissue repair slash, a, um, not ACL, um, carpal tunnel tunnel um, release surgery. So basically, he was like, I have carpal tunnel really bad in this arm, in his hand. But also, it's also something going on with the muscles and the tissue. So it's like a combination of a lot of things. And so he, you know, went in to try to repair that. It's actually healing a lot better. I go back to him this Thursday to see, um, you know, what's going on and things like that. Because he's concerned because I still have numbness and weakness in my fingers, in these fingers right here. But it's mostly really bad in this one. And he was like, I shouldn't be having that. Which I was thinking I should because I just had surgery. But he was like, I shouldn't. And so you can see that it's kind of like healing, you know, a lot better um, than the other pictures that I showed you before. Um, so I still really can't lift anything and, you know, hold anything, open anything. It's hard to shower. It's just a lot of different things. He did tell me that it will take about a year for this to get itself together and I'll start back feeling normal. So, but I did not need physical therapy with it. So I don't know what he's going to recommend when I go this Thursday. I'll give you guys another update. And the last update I have is dealing with, of course, the numbness and tingling of this side. I think I told you guys in a previous video, all the tests that they have already ran, but um, I went recently, I want to say about a week or two weeks ago, I think it was a week, anywhere from a week to two weeks ago, and I had to get an MRI done of my head and of my neck. So my neurologist called me back and told me that my MRI results were not good and that I need to see a neurological surgeon slash something specialist. So they're supposed to call me um, to schedule an appointment from whomever I'm supposed to go see soon she said um it's been about she told me that last thursday so today is tuesday so it's been about you know three days because of course you don't count the weekend but no one's called me yet so hopefully they'll call me soon to see what what we can do and how we can correct this problem but so far that's the only thing that's going on with me um as far as like the cancer update i went to my oncologist about a month ago or a month and a half ago and he said that um, so far he hasn't seen any more cancerous um, anything, which is great. Um, he did say, however, that the chemotherapy is affecting my, is causing me to have really bad osteoporosis. So he has to do like um, more bone density testing. And he also said that although everything looks pretty good, 
that because of the type of cancer that I have, which is like estrogen hormone based cancer, I still have to continue treatment for another five years. So that means, which is 2022, so hopefully by 2027, I should be cleared if nothing else pops up. So keeping my fingers crossed, um, I really don't like taking the medicine because it does make me like nauseous and sick and it's taking a toll on my body, but I have to do what I have to do. I mean, there's always choices. I could say, no, I don't want to take it. But I know that if I don't take it, I've talked to several of my doctors and they all have given me like the risk of what will happen if I stop taking it. Um, and even though um, I have to go another five years and I'm excited, my doctor also explained to me that just because I go this extra five years doesn't mean that the cancer won't come back. And um, if it does come back, it will come back more aggressive than it was the first time. So just keeping my fingers crossed. And that's one reason, I'm gonna wrap this video up because I don't like to make long videos. Um, but that's one reason why I started YouTube. Like I told you guys, I am actually from a whole nother state. So being here in this state, North Carolina, um, I'm from Virginia and I'm living in North Carolina. I don't have like many friends here, not really hardly any friends. <laughs> and I don't have like family here. So it's kind of like, um, you know, hard on me a lot because I don't have a lot of outlets. So YouTube is a way for me to like talk to people, interact with people, um, to like keep a diary of my life. Um, and it's just something fun for me to do, to keep my mind off of things. So I really enjoy um, doing YouTube. Although, you know, of course I'm not big like other channels, but I still enjoy doing it. So that's one reason why I do it. Am I that great at it? No. Am I sometimes kind of awkward? Definitely. But I just like doing it. I mean, it's fun. It's an outlet. It gets my mind off of things. It gives me something to look forward to every day because I try to post every day or every other day. When I'm really, really sick, I take breaks. And I'm trying not to do that because I think I started two years ago then I took a break. Then I started eight months ago and then I took a break. And now I'm back and I'm being more consistent. And I hope I can continue to be that way. But, you know, if not, things happen. But um, I just want to tell you guys do, that um, I appreciate all the love and support and the great comments. Um just the feedback, all of the subscribers that I do have, I really appreciate you because you're taking time out your day and your schedule to watch me and to subscribe to me. And it's just it's just a blessing. I really, really appreciate it. But I just want to give you a quick help, health update on me. I know this is like really quick and I may be talking kind of fast. And I do that because I get really emotional about my health because I used to be like really independent you know, doing things, going places. I I got my bachelor's in social work and now I was I was almost in the process of graduating with my master's in social work and then things just started happening. So I'm hoping and praying I can go back to school to finish my master's. So it gets me kind of emotional. It gets me kind of down, but I also want to keep you guys updated. And plus it gives me something to look back for, you know, over the years to see, wow, I had all this going on. Now look at me now. So on that note, you guys, I want to say thank you for watching and I appreciate your support and your love. You're free to comment. Anything you want to comment, please make it positive in the comment section. And on that note, I'll see you guys later. And what do I say? I, I used to say, do you boo, which I still believe in do you boo. But now I also say, don't forget to su subscribe. <laughs> later, guys.